Welcome to Life with the Beckers. Coming at you, yeah -ha. Coming at you, yeah -ha. Today we have a twofer unboxing for you guys. This is the Pro-Am Cooking Bowl. Let's join the action after these quick Becker bullets. Okie dokie, guys. So, we're going to start with the utensil set. Because when you get fancy pots and pans, you got to make sure you don't mess them up right away. These ones are from Amazon. Did you know that? If not, you do now. So let's see what we got. Some hooks, that's good. Woo! All right, so it comes with a little um, organizer, it says, but not the most organized to put it all in a cup. It's not bad, but that's kind of funny. There's also these hooks, which I'm excited about. That was part of what made me want to pick this one. It's got the little hooks. They're both rounded on both ends, and then that way you can hang up your utensils on like um, a shelf or on like a paper towel holder or something like that. So it came with some cute little measuring spoons here, which all kind of fit together nicely. They're a little ergonomic, which is interesting. I've never had that nice of a uh, little scoopers. So I figured that these were like regular, you know, like imperial system, but it looks like they're metric. So I'm gonna have to look that up later and find out if that's equivalent or not. I'm assuming so, but definitely don't wanna make something with like those and have it turn out bad. So I'll be finding out about that later. I think this is like a little juice, it's like a juice um, strainer maybe, I'm not even sure what that's for. Alright, getting to the good stuff here. So we've got a nice big wide spatula here and everything has um, like stainless steel handle which is nice, a little bit of grip on the handle. And then, of course, a little hole for the hooks. Put that one in there. Got a nice slotted spoon. Same thing. Here's one for, like, um, making poached eggs or um, straining out, like, potatoes or anything out of the water. Got, like, a cookie spatula. Got like your normal slotted burger spatula. This isn't a ladle. It is kind of shaped interesting though. I suppose this is a ladle slash stir spoon. Here's the pasta attachment or doodad. That's nice, because otherwise I end up using a couple forks and making a big mess. Here we go. Here's our proper ladle. And it looks like we got a couple other little fun things here. Some tongs. That's nice. brush for like brushing on butter or other seasoning and stuff like that. A uh, butter knife maybe or something. I'm not really sure what that's for. Interesting. Now we got a small spatula and then kind of like a scooper spatula. And last but not least, a whisk that I can use in my pans that won't hurt it. But these are actually like metal that are coated, which is different from a lot of the normal ones, which are like actually just all plastic and really flimsy. So that's nice. And then again, little hook it up the bottom. 
All right. And that is everything from the set. And a lot of garbage, but that's okay. Half time for Z's video. <whistles> and this week, our video is brought to you by our sponsors, Jesse and Carmen Becker. And what a generous couple they are. That's right, Carm. Right on to the guests. Drum roll, please. KB! Bum, bum, bum! Well, Carm, this Zeese character is certainly turning out to be more elusive than we thought. This is very true, but it's okay, Jess, because we still have the home field advantage. Great point, Carm. Anyway, let's get back to the action. Alrighty. Now for the fun part. So these are the pot lids. They have a nice little steam hole. And they're really like, they have a nice big handle. So that way you don't uh, end up touching the glass. So that's nice. All right. And this is one of the pots. So as you can see, they have that nice granite finish on the inside. And then on the outside, they've got this nice ombre blue to teal, I guess. And they also have that hammered look, which is really cool. Here's the other large pot. They have a nice like wide handle too with that little hook hole, so that's nice. So we've got another lid here. And this one is the big stock pot. And then this one comes with like a fryer basket so that way you can uh, it even has like a little hook here so that it hooks to it that way you can do um, like really anything that you want to deep fry and then when you want it to drain it has another hook there so yeah ta-da even folds up and then here is the steamer basket. So this one goes on top of here. And then you have your water underneath. And then you have whatever you have in here, vegetables, um, potatoes, whatever you want. And then you can steam those with this lid on, of course. Here's a couple of the utensils that come with this set and you will see why I bought my own. They're not bad, but they're just kind of your normal old plastic handles you get with any set that you buy, so. Like I said, not bad, but not what I wanted, so. I got something else. And then here we've got the frying pans. Same style. I really like the bevel that these have. It's like a nice, um, it's easier not to spill, <laughs> essentially. And then here's the little guy. And that is all of it. So we've got the couple of different frying pans. We have the different saucepans, the lids, and then we've got the steamer basket and the fry basket. And that is everything that came with the set. All right, some closing thoughts for the wrap up of this great game. So 
How do you think these uh, pots and pans and utensils fared in this game? You know, I would have to say overall, well. Um, you know, most people on the team got to see a lot of action, but we did have a few that didn't. The brush, the whisk, team utensil, they just were bench warmers, unfortunately. Fry basket as well on team pots and pans has yet to see any action. So, um, you know, there's that. But overall, I would say they've done well. That's great. Now let's take a moment to compare the two teams. In one corner, we have the pots and pans. And in the other corner, we have the utensils. What are your thoughts? Well, I would say overall pots and pans, they do have a lot going for them. Uh, they're non-stick, they're durable, lightweight, um, easy to clean. You know, it's really overall a really great defense that they have going for them. And so, yeah. But they do have to be washed at an ideal time after they're not hot, but before any food dries. And they can only use non-stick tools. So the problem with that is that if they let their guard down, there could be a major upset in the pans. The pans don't appreciate that one. On the other hand, we have team utensils. They are very easy to clean and a nice neutral color. So overall, they would have a unified front. However, the handles on the utensils are a bit heavy, leading them to kind of fall on the floor, which, you know, can lead to a lot of false starts, which isn't good either. Definitely not. Well, sounds like these two teams have a couple of bugs to work out, but they seem to play together well. And that's the game. <whistles> Carmen 2, Boxes 0. Our sponsors also just wanted everybody to know to like the video if you did, share and comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And join us next week for more coverage on Life with the Beckers. I'm Jesse. And I'm Carmen. Signing off.